Hi folks, uh, welcome back to the Astroform channel. So tonight I'm going to uh, try to photograph the Andromeda Galaxy. Um, well, the Andromeda Galaxy is uh, pretty special for a number of reasons. First of all, uh, it was the first galaxy that uh, that we uh, that turned out to be a galaxy actually. <laughs> so uh, there was this researcher called Hubble, um, and um, uh, back then it was they, they thought that the Andromeda Nebula was part of our own uh, Milky Way. But uh, then, uh, as it turned out, Hubble discovered that it was actually another galaxy uh, about 2.5 million light years away. Um, another thing is that the Andromeda Galaxy is 220,000 light years uh, across. Uh, and it's about ten, two times bigger uh, as compared to our own uh, Milky Way. And what is also incredible is that uh, Andromeda and uh, the Milky Way are moving closer together. And because of these gravitational forces they will actually collide in uh, like uh, many years from now of course. But uh, it's, uh, it's incredible to, uh, to just think about that. And um, So yeah, I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this video and um, okay, see you later, bye bye. So uh, hi folks, I just received a couple of uh, uh, pictures from my other filter. So um, yeah, just to, to recap, so I have this 10 minute frame uh, taken in H alpha and then uh, Andromeda, the Andromeda uh, galaxy, it looks a little bit like this. And I thought I really would need that uh, H alpha filter to get all of these faint, uh, yeah, the faint nebulosity um, uh, part of the Andromeda uh, galaxy, but if I look at my um, um, LPS for instance filter, so this is taken with my light pollution filter, a 300 second picture um, And of course you see then that I'm in the city, so you already see that uh, there is a lot of uh, light pollution But when you stretch it, I'm actually I'm pleasantly surprised with the uh, with the result, so I can yeah, it's maybe not as clear as in the 600 frame, let's see. So here's the H alpha 600 frame, you get a little more maybe details here on, like it's a little bit more grainy, yeah, it's, and the, the structure of the, of the edge of uh, Andromeda. Um, but when you look at the LPS filter, you can also make out, it's a little bit smoother, but you can also make out uh, like a, a little bit faint, uh, you see the faint, uh, it is faint, but you can see the edge of uh, Andromeda. And um, I, let's see, because the red frame just came in. Uh, so check that. Okay, so in the red, you can actually not really see the, the outer edges of the Andromeda, but you have some nice details on the, in, uh, the inner part. Um, so now I'm doubting, I think I will cycle uh, Oh, um, so let's get back to the sequencer. So uh, maybe I will cycle just through um, these bits. So I have the H alpha 10 minute frame and then I have five minutes uh, of LPS and RGB. And then I will maybe turn back to the H alpha. But I'm just not sure. Uh, maybe I will, so I, this is nice actually in uh, Sequence Generator Pro. You can rotate through events or finish the entire event first. So you can choose actually. And when you choose uh, to rotate three events, it will just take all the events here that you have marked. Um, yeah, and it will just uh, take one uh, picture of each event at a time. Um, so I think that's a nice feature anyway. Um, so this is all I got. I hope uh, you find this interesting. And um, yeah, hopefully uh, I end up uh, in the end. Because I what I want to do is actually I take I want to take about 15 hours of uh, yeah, for, for Andromeda. So in total I would I want to end up with about 15 hours of uh, capturing time. 